Hey, just a little quick uh, tip video here on the Crystal Sky. Uh, I know a lot of public safety, fire and police are jumping on uh, the Crystal Sky because they're tired of their iPads overheating and uh, not being able to see them out in the sun. Um, I've had this one with the, with the battery on um, for, oh, about 12 hours now and you see it's still 100%. One of the things that, that a few guys have been wondering about is, hey, if I leave the battery on and I turn it off, um, I come back and the battery's at, you know, 80% or something like that. What's going on? Well, you're really not turning it off. This power button here, you just tap it. It turns off the screen. It's in power saver mode. That's for like if you're out in the field and you're taking a break or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and it turns on instantly. That's just turn off the screen. What you need to do is hold that for a second and actually power it off and if you power this thing off um, it goes in there you won't use any battery uh, pretty much unnoticeable I mean I guess if it sat there for a few months it would go down of course but um, the other thing that I want to point out along the same lines and this is a really nice feature uh, with these things but whenever you store these uh, crystal skies you're gonna to wanna to store them off of the controller, not attached to it, and I'm, you'll understand why here in a minute. Uh, the reason is is because they, they've kinda of automated some stuff for us where uh, you don't have to actually power on your Crystal Sky. Uh, it'll detect whether or not it's connected to a controller, powered on, and if the aircraft's powered on, it'll even try to determine which software needs to be used and go ahead and launch it for you. Uh, it's really nice, it's a lot of automated uh, stuff there to help us out and save us some time, save us some button pushes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you saw I, I powered it off, it's completely powered off. Now if I power on this controller, all right, so controller's now powered on, Crystal Sky is completely off. I don't even need to power it on. All I have to do is set it on there and lock it on and what you'll find is without me powering it on it'll automatically power up for you which is a really nice feature just one less thing you have to do power on your controller drop your crystal sky then go run over uh, start up your aircraft and when it's done boom it comes up and it would go ahead and it would launch whatever app thought it needed to be launched so uh, I like a lot of the automation it saves us some time of having to turn things on and search for icons and all that other kind of stuff now the reason you don't want to store it real quick, the reason you don't want to store it on the controller is because, I'll show, the, show you this real quick, I think it's better to demo it than, than to try to explain it. So we're going to power it off. Now let's say we're storing this and we got this in our case or whatever, you know, we have a custom case and this is how we're going to store it. Remember this thing's looking for any kind of a power change, any kind of power coming through the system. If you just bump this button down here, it'll power it on. So now if you remove the crystal sky from there, obviously it won't sense any kind of power. So you're gonna to wanna to store the crystal sky off, power it off whenever you're done with it. So you're done with your, your operations for the day, power it off by really powering it off, not just putting it into sleep mode. All right, hope this helps y'all out, and uh, I'm really liking these things. They're, they've been helping me out a lot in this nice hot Texas uh, summer weather, so I'll see you on the next one.